Hi, so we're going to take a look at our latest EMF meter and we're going to compare it against the traditional K2 meter. So the K2 meter's switched on. I'll just balance that sitting up there. So this has got a, on the back, it's got a little tripod mount. We're just going to stand it up to the benefit of this exercise. So we've got a, an EM pump, which will uh, circulate around the device in a moment. It's got three different measure mo measurement modes and it's a single axis pickup. So we can uh, use the device by holding down the power button. So each of the buttons can be single pressed or it can be held to f uh, access different functions. So if we hold down this button, it'll turn it on and off. And then if we press it, it'll toggle the uh, audible tone. So it audible tones when it reaches max. As you'll see on the top, as the K2 deflects, we also get a green, amber or red LED in correspondence. So if we come this side, you'll see it'll probably be more sensitive than the K2 on this side. So it's amber. And then we're probably about 80 centimetres away there. So it's dropped down to green. So about 40 centimetres away, it's amber. And then probably a little bit more sensitive than the K2. If we're moving from equal distance, I'd say they're yeah, more or less on par. So we also mentioned it's got temperature, so you'll see that the temperature display is reading out 20 degrees. So if we tap um, the button there, you'll see that can toggle to 68 Fahrenheit. So we've got Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, it's also got a, a hold feature as well, because because we've got a digital display, if we press the hold feature, it'll actually hold your highest temperature, I mean your highest electromagnetic field reading as well. So the selection mode will toggle you through milligauss, I think it's micro tesla, and then We've also got an electric field strength, which will measure from five megahertz through to, I think it's 3,500 megahertz. So if we settle on that mode, you'll see that the uh, the EM pump, because it's an electromagnetic field, it won't interfere that with that. But if we uh, put this desk light and we bring that down, it will start to measure. Uh, the electric field strength of the light rather than an electric electromagnetic strength. You'll also see the K2 picks that up. So pretty much like for like. Finally, we've got uh, a max button that changes it to maximum sensitivity. If we hold that down, we've got a, a nice backlit display and we've also got a torch on the back which is a, a really handy feature, obviously, when you're out and about in the dark. So I'll just turn that off. So the tripod can be removed. So it's a, a totally handheld device, nice and rugged, uh, similar size to a K2, and it also takes a 9 volt battery that, uh, that accommodates in the back. So compared to the K2, very, very similar. Um, however, it's a little bit cheaper than the K2. I think late 2020, we're talking about, you know, approaching Brexit and import charges, probably looking about 55 to 60 pounds um, for a genuine K2, possibly get a sound mod in with that. Whereas you're looking between say 45 50 pounds for this device posted